I was desperate for a job. I was in my final years of college and I had lots of student loans built up. As soon as I saw the night guard job in the local newspaper, I knew I was a fit for the job. I usually stay up late each night anyway, so it won't make a difference to my schedule. I realized I could also just chill on my phone the whole shift and get paid for it. We had a small local subway station for our town. It only had one platform and few trains ever went there. The subway station itself was very old, only used by the local town people. Recently the old night guard for the subway station had retired and they needed someone new to take over. As soon as I called, they immediately hired me. Looks like this wasn't such a popular job. Let me give you a little description of the subway station. I've only ever been to the station a few times. So basically, you walk down the stairs to get to the subway. Then you'll see long tracks extending forever on either side of you. And also a short platform for boarding the train. On the platform to your right would be the ticket and also the security guard booth. Since it was an old subway station, the lighting also wasn't very good. It was very poorly lit and had a creepy vibe to it. There were shadows everywhere and the light was so dim that it would take your eyes a while to adjust so you would be able to see your surroundings. So anyways, here I was now making my way to my little security booth. The day guard shook hands with me as he left and wished me good luck. That confused me. Who the hell wishes you good luck as they leave you to your shift? I ignored it and got myself settled in. I read through the boring instruction manual that outlined basic evacuation procedures and what to do in unlikely scenarios like a bomb threat. My shift was from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. I was just about to go on my phone and scroll through Reddit and my eye caught a single piece of paper. It was titled, Must Read Important Rules. The title was overwhelming and written in big red blocky letters. I picked up the sheet and read it. This is what it said. If you see a man in a black tuxedo holding a bright red leather bag, walk in, asking for a ticket, just say, I don't work here, and immediately turn around. He will not be there when you turn back around. If you see a black figure in camera number four, quickly look away and never look at that camera again. If you start hearing whistling, get out immediately. Around 12 a.m. you may see a woman with an umbrella come into the subway station. She will be walking facing away from you. Do not under any circumstances try to look at the woman's face. If you see yourself staring at you from any of the cameras, cover all the cameras up. You may hear yourself speaking telling you to come out. Stay put in your booth and do not come out. If the door to your booth starts shaking and starts to open, push the door as hard as you can. Do not let the door open. An extension to rule number four. If you see yourself staring at you from the booth window, immediately look away and hold that door shut as hard as you can. If you notice that the clock on the wall has stopped working, hide under the desk and do not come out until you start hearing the ticking of the clock again. At 3.03 a.m. a weird looking train will come. You will hear it from its distinct horn that doesn't sound like any other train. Carefully look out and see if anyone steps out of the train. If you see even a single person depart that train, immediately grab the handgun in your drawer and shoot them, no matter who the person is. If the train departs and you still haven't shot that person, then it's too late. Your clock, phone, and any device that shows the time will try to deceive you. They will show the time incorrectly and instead show your shift end time. They are trying to get you to come out. If you feel like the time isn't right, stay put in your booth and wait until morning and you will see people walking into the subway station. Apart from the weird train that'll come, you should only see one other normal looking train arrive at the station at exactly 11 p.m. That will be the last train until 5 a.m. If you see any other train arrive at the station, no, you are not tripping. Just hide in your booth and wait it out until morning. If you break any of the above rules, we are no longer responsible for your safety. We will nonetheless come to collect you in the morning if anything does go wrong. The safest place at the station, if you do happen to break any of the rules, is on the tracks. The subway management team. The rules sounded totally fake. And then suddenly a man in a black tuxedo came inside the station. He knocked on the glass. My heartbeat flew like a plane as I saw the man in the black tuxedo ask me for a ticket. My body was suddenly frozen on the spot. I was unable to move. I was unable to speak. My voice got trapped in my throat. I barely managed to choke out. 
No, I don't work here. The man suddenly seemed confused. His face slowly got even more distorted. His left eye got larger and larger. His nose bent at awkward angles and his mouth twisted impossibly long. I grimaced at the sight and nearly threw up my dinner on the floor. The man turned away and literally crawled out of the station. Well, I guess I just experienced the first rule. I'll update throughout the night. I'm definitely not coming back after this shift.